10 tips, 10 days. Tip number eight, have a plan or create a plan. Either way, a plan. So as we left the summit yesterday and started to make our way down the mountain, we also started thinking about a plan. After all, you're now crystal clear about your vision again. You know your core values, your boundaries. You know what roles are yours. You know what rules you want to play by or you have to play by. And you've taken back control. That also means that you can now look at where you are and where you want to go, where you want to be in the future when you have realized your vision. And determine what the gap is between those two positions in space and in time. So where are you now? Where do you want to be? And what do you need to do to get from where you are now to where you want to be? Sort of reverse engineering how you are going to do that. So maybe you sat on that mountain summit and you saw another summit off in the distance that represents your vision. You could also see there were valleys and other summits between you and that vision summit. Let's call it that. Vision summit sounds pretty good. You could see that there was no direct line between where you are now and that other summit. You could see that you would likely have to go down and around and up and over mountains that are in between you and that vision summit. So you, dis you, can you could decide to see those Vision, those summits in between you and the one that is your vision as uh, milestones. You can look at the map and see okay, what route is it that I have to take. You can look at the map and see, hang on, there are parts of the trail, parts of the route where I need to know more than I know now, where I need to be able to where I need to have more experience than I have now and perhaps have other skills than I already have. So you may need some extra training. You may need to gain experience to be able to get to where you want to go. You can also see there are alternate routes so that if for some reason the route of your choice gets blocked, can't be followed. There are other ways of getting to where you want to go. And you also realize that you have to create time and space in your plan for unforeseen circumstances. And now that you have a plan a plan with milestones between you and your ultimate goal, your, the realization of your vision. Milestones that are, when you reach them, a reason for a celebration because you have moved this much closer to your goal. Now that you have that plan, you can also see what actions you have to take, what the first steps are that you will be taking to move towards the first milestone on your plan. So you've taken back control, you now have a plan, and when you get back into the valley, you can take the first action steps, you can start acting on the plan that you've created. So tip number eight in this series of 10 tips, 10 days is 
Have a plan, and if you don't have one yet, create one. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.